The Commandos were the brainchild of Churchill, who'd seen similar outfits operate successfully in both the Boer War and the First World War. A small number of highly trained soldiers would get in fast, do a huge amount of damage, and then get out before the enemy had time to get organised. Churchill liked this. He called it the Butcher and Bolt approach. So what kind of men were they? Well, if popular myth is anything to go by, they were lantern-jawed killing machines who could headbutt their way through oak doors. The reality, though, was rather different. Gerard Brett, in my regiment, was in my commando, 12th commando, and he'd written a book on the Byzantine age or Byzantine architecture or something. One fellow who got a divinity degree from... Trinity College, Dublin. Lance Corporal Potts had been a, a don at either Oxford or Cambridge. They included a poacher, a TT, motorcycle rider, so a mixed bag. What they represented was a complete revolution in the concept of soldiering. Fire! The backbone of their training was speed marching, and each commando unit would compete to see who could go the furthest in the shortest time. One group went 63 miles in 19 hours. Another marched 53 miles from Harlech to the top of Mount Snowden and then down again in 17 and a half hours. And remember, they did this while carrying 60-pound packs on their backs. Determination is the most important thing, even on speed marches, where our great aim was to get the chaps to 15 miles in full kit in just under three hours, finish up on the salt course and firing, and then leisurely go up to the top of Ben Nevis. It's all part of mentally equipping them to do anything. Not only was commando training tough, but it was also revolutionary. The regular army would stay fit by doing star jumps in PE kit. The commandos trained in harsh terrain in battle dress. They invented the assault course. In fact, their methods were so advanced, they're still used by elite forces today. determination, doing things which you thought you couldn't possibly do, like on the Tarzan course, on a rope bridge or the death line. And don't forget, the chaps and commanders weren't super men. They were ordinary chaps from all walks of life, but they were trained well, trained to get the edge.